haven't seen this many white dudes get indicted by the Rico Act since Goodfellas. Yeah, hey, amen. Oh, yeah, amen. They hitting them with the Rico Act. Man, Georgia, it was a lot of crime in the 80s, right? Mm-hmm. At the end. So they wanted business. So the state legislator wrote these Rico Acts to, to arrest young black people. Mm. To make it easier to charge and to j- imprison young black men. And then they got old white ones. Yeah, man. Can you imagine? Young Thug and Donald Trump got the same charge. These white people ain't cut for being in jail. Like, these mm. are 70, 78 year old white men. Right. Big Boys hey, Neighborhood, boy. beautiful day in the neighborhood, yes, ladies man. and gentlemen. Pleasure to see this man Woo. back in the neighborhood. D.L. Hughley, welcome back to the neighborhood, Thank brother. You. I, I missed a hurricane. Yeah. Oh, my God, man. Yeah. So were you out of town traveling during a hurricane? I was I was, I was. was in Orlando, and then I had to go to Sid's golf tournament in Cabo. Oh, man. Wait. Yes. Wait, and, so what did Mexico look like? Cause I, nothing. Was, oh, okay. Mexico looked great. I heard that. You know what? You know how America was going to capitalize because uh, flights, my wife flew in to meet me, and it was $100. Are you serious? Cabo San Lucas, three hundred dollars for first class. I mean, damn. She said, in, she said in coach and upgrade. You did, right? You yeah, know what yeah. I'm saying we gotta gotta ride that wave. But hey, yeah. man, yeah, damn. I should have traveled during disaster. Yes. <laughs> All you gotta do. Hey, man, I remember That's when it. the pandemic was going down. Man. They had flights to Vegas for like twenty nine bucks That's it. that That's you could hold on to. That's it. Yeah, I'm, I'm waiting for the next one, boy. Yeah, well, don't worry, it's coming. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you remember during the pandemic when outside was closed? <laughs> <laughs> like outside was closed. You can't like white people closed the beach. <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. Hey man. Let me tell you, Dio, when I knew that things were getting serious, right. remember I said in the neighborhood, right. I said, man, if they close down Disneyland, man, it's serious. They closed down parks, beaches. Remember people trying to surf? Yeah, man. They closed remember, remember they, they closed sh- down outside. <laughs> outside white people are like outside is closed. Don't go outside. Yeah, man. You can only go outside to work and go grocery shopping. Yeah, man. And wipe all that down. And and the only remember outside was closed. Churches was closed, but liquor store was open, oh, yeah. right? <laughs> hey man, and that's what they said. They said that drinking Man, come on and now. Everything went up. And you can zoom We got G- fat and drunk. Mm-hmm. You can zoom Jesus, but not Jack Daniels. Yeah. That's it. You can Praise the Lord. <laughs> right, but you can't go to church. <laughs> you, you better not go to church. You ain't going to help you get a fifth. I know that. It ain't going to happen. <laughs> hey, man, so the hurricane, we were out here, man. And, of course, with when they talk about, right. oh, California, we right. haven't seen anything like right. this in Los Angeles. Man, I was like, okay, I'm not scared. Let me get prepared. Right. I went to we the got, store. I, I still got my Y2K kit. Hey, right. <laughs> I got my, oh, hell yeah. I got my Killer B spray. I got all that. Hey, man, and that was one of them things, dude. My wife was like, do you think they're going to such and such? I said, well, you know what? Let me just go buy just some meat right. for like two days, right. you know. Right. So I went to the store, and the same thing, man. I saw like, okay, they taking the water. Well, you know, like here we are again. I believe it wasn't it, as crazy. It, it to, the thing about it is nobody believes anything. Nobody right. believes anything. Then, it, then we're talking on the way up. Nobody believes anything. All they just exaggerating. Then when it happens, everybody freaks out. <laughs> yeah. and says, nobody told me. Yeah. Like remember doing Hurricane Katrina? And nobody left. Right, man. You know, yeah. and, and, and God sent you Doppler radar. You didn't get that, like. Man. But I think we just have this thing where we think everybody's playing until right. they ain't. And I think now it's even more so because yeah. either we hit a panic switch and we yeah. do too much. I don't yeah. know what the I don't want to know what the the medium is. Right. Or you do nothing at all. Right. But I went. and I made sure I was like, okay, let me make sure just in case we have. Our electricity go off. Right. Let me make sure we got the batteries. If our electricity go off, something going horribly wrong. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I remember when it was fire. They had fire trucks on my street. Oh, yeah, like, man. I, man, I got to live with the whites, man. Hell they know yeah. what they doing. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and people started, do you remember they started hiring uh, outside private fire trucks? Yeah, yeah. I, I was remember, like, yeah. I was like, man, to the Kardashians, I'm like, can you send yeah. one over here? <laughs> Thank you. They Damn. was not playing, so nah. it's just... It's a whole different thing. I remember, like, and now, like, our, our COVID experience, like, people ready for it. We ready for these kids to go back to school. We don't care if they got the vaccination or not. Right. Like, our parents would have let us stay home for a year. Oh, hell like, no, Mom, man. it's a pandemic. Well, put on two T-shirts. Right. Get out of here. <laughs> Drink some 7-Up. <laughs> yeah. yeah, right, right. right. <laughs> Take a nap. Yeah, 7-Up and, and go to school. But all the people that had, like, now everybody got, like, all these people with their weird, like, uh, I remember all the celebrities, I'm not going to take the vaccine. Remember Wendy Williams said, I ain't going to take the vaccine. <laughs> oh, you're about, to, you're about to be a piece Ain't of you shit. on cocaine? Like, <laughs> like, oh, like, oh, my God. Then I called it, man. Who takes medical advice from a crackhead? You don't, you don't trust Merck, but you trust Man Man? Like, <laughs> she's like, the bus stop here. No, 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 man. no, no the bus stop here. Come on now. Yeah, stop man. It. Right. There's right. some things I just kill. I just, like, come on now. It's like, I'll trust people. Like, now everybody got a cousin oh that knows God, more bro. than the experts because oh, yeah. he read about it on the internet. And they yeah, ain't telling man. everybody just him. 
Hey, man, mm-hmm. what about when the <laughs> pandemic was going down? You had everybody that worked for either like the the CIA, right? But I have somebody oh that worked for for the government. Right. Somebody that worked for know? the what? What was the, what's the other thing? CDC, the, uh, CDC. CDC. My cousin worked at the CDC. Yeah, your cousin sweeped the floors at the CDC. <laughs> right, 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 right. Now the vaccine was made out of Fabuloso. <laughs> we had. <laughs> <laughs> And, right. and black people love Fabuloso. Oh, that man. Oh, you got to hey. get the purple kind. Yeah. Right, hey, dude, they don't even call it by fragrance. It's color. Oh, yeah. Like, I like that yellow. <laughs> yeah. You got to get the purple kind. With, with Fabuloso and Kool-Aid. Yeah. You know and then you're going to boil Fabuloso on the stove to make your house smell good. Rinse the pot out. I'm so tired of your lasagna <laughs> tasting like Fabuloso. I don't know what the hell to do. <laughs> hey, hey, man, yeah, you get a whole gallon. <laughs> man, come seven on Seven cent. <laughs> you, and all this stuff that's going on, man, like... uh. Like, I saw that Montgomery, Alabama thing like Oh, my else. gosh, man. And white people are going, I didn't know niggas could swim. Yeah, yeah like, man. Mm-hmm. Hey, bro, let me tell you, when I first saw that deal, when I saw the Montgomery brawl. Yeah, <laughs> Montgomery brawl. I saw that, and I didn't know, like, my boy Fuzzy sent it to me, and I didn't know how early he sent it to me. I thought it was just, like, some, yeah, something no, old. No, no. I didn't see it. Yeah. And then it just started to take off. When I saw a brother in the water. Yeah. Now, for one, I've, I've been knowing how to swim my whole me life. Me too. But I don't know how to swim to a fight. Because if I'm swimming, <laughs> bro, as soon as I get to the water, we got to gotta rest. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We that's... can't do it all in one day. <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> yeah. We can swim today, fight tomorrow. Yeah, man. Yeah. Uh, this is like a triathlon. No. Yeah. Okay, I did the swim. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Look, look, I'm bad now. <laughs> yeah. Pull myself. It's a swim, pull yourself out the water. Oh, yeah. That's a three day event. Oh, yeah, bro. That's a three Not day at all. Event. I'll be exhausted. When my man took his hat off and threw man. it in the air, like, but the next day, white break rooms all over the country. White people, y'all ain't no chairs in here. Everybody, yeah, hell yeah, <laughs> it was bean bags in every yeah. break room. Even AAA party <laughs> rents was like, nah, y'all ain't getting these white chairs. Nah, nah, right? nah, none of these, none of the weddings, none of like that, man. But Alabama, remember when they had the little girl Carly Russell said she was uh, kidnapped? Yeah, oh my god, and, and I was bro. like, come on, a baby. Every, you saw a baby. She said it was a, 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 a white dude with orange hair. So it was either. Homie the Clown or Donald Trump. <laughs> and it couldn't have been him because he was getting indicted, I'm yeah. sure. Hey, man, I remember when she came out. What, what were they calling it? Carly Smollett? Yeah. You know? oh, yeah. <laughs> Listen, oh, she wow. didn't count on the police. It was a multi-jurisdictional search. They had... It was the police that was there in five minutes. Police uh, agency from hey, all Dio, of the If county. somebody don't know, just give them a quick backstory. On so what that was the girl about. that said she was missing, right? She right. Kid, somebody kidnapped her, and they said she kidnapped her while she was, uh, you know, she saw a baby, and they hadn't heard from her. But the police got there in five minutes. They had a multi-jurisdictional search. The Secret Service got her, uh, you know, her internet searches and found out she was watching Take It. But they got her internet. It hasn't been that many white women, white people looking for a black woman in the South since Harry Tubman. Yeah, man. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Hey, man, and the thing about it, I was like, oh, this is another one that's yeah. going to make it look crazy, man. Yeah. Yeah. It's gonna, and, and you know what, what's so sad about it was also how the family had to F around and play like, no, See? no, she was yeah. kidnapped. and it was. But everybody, you, you got to believe them because strange things can happen. Yeah. But as soon as she came walking, first off, you don't get kidnapped with video and snacks. Nobody do that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Nobody do that. Right. Nobody do that. But uh, I'm like. I, I, I see all this stuff now. I haven't seen this many white dudes get indicted by the RICO Act since Goodfellas. Yeah, hey, man. Oh, yeah, hey, man, they hitting him with the RICO, man. And, and Georgia mm-hmm. got time. You know what Georgia did? <laughs> yeah. Georgia, it was a lot of crime in the 80s, right? Mm-hmm. At the end, So they wanted business. So the state legislator wrote these RICO Acts to, to arrest young black people, mm-hmm. to make it easier to charge and to j- imprison young black men. And then they got old white ones. Yeah, man. Can you imagine? Young Thug and Donald Trump got the same charge. Tell mm-hmm. me, hey, man, that's what I told them. And, and they said they're going to prosecute him like like, like man, Thug. You, feel like, you know what it is? It was, it was a conspiracy. They don't, this is what people don't understand. Laws are for poor people. Mm. Loopholes are for rich people. Wow. Mm. Say it laws, again, bro. Oh, yeah, law. But a way to, the way to get out of law, the loophole, loophole is for rich people. And this time, you ain't got one. Damn. Laws are for laws are for poor people. Loopholes are for rich people. Like, I'm playing Orange County, right? And you can tell the difference. When I cross the county line, my car tipped to the right. I, had, I bought a MAGA hat at the at where I was going to sell the fruit. <laughs> you know, maybe he was a terrorist. I don't know. <laughs> but it's it's so funny to see these people. What what was meant for for good? What you know? They 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 wrote these laws and they wrote them expansive so that it could just ensnare the. Right. They had teachers that went to jail for it. Young Thug and them went to jail for it. You know, so. They they've arre- they they prosecuted this very kind of scenario twelve times, 
But these white people ain't cut for being in jail. Like these mm-hmm. are 70, 78 year old white men. Right. Do you they, think that's gonna happen, mm-hmm. DL? I, I you, let, let me tell you something. I don't know nobody How that can, got ninety one charges and nothing happened. Right. Ninety one. Ninety one. Like if you caught a piece of that, you wouldn't be sitting here now. Hey man. And I'm gonna tell you something. This is the thing that was funny. You know, we know dudes that get they they, they tax them. The, the, the DA ch- overcharges them. Yeah. But this time they didn't charge him with anything that they got. They if they would have overcharged him, right. it'd be bad. But everything right. they got on him, they got. Yeah, because usually you see somebody get caught up and it'd be like, man, they just threw everything no, no, up no. there and see what sticks. The, everything. This is stick. Everything mm. they got, somebody told. Damn. Every, did you see the dude yesterday that had a Trump lawyer and then he turned got his own lawyer and then he t- rechanged his story? They giving time. You know what? You can go for that. You you can you can go to jail for a long time for that. Mm. For stealing the country's secrets and and you know, and then and then trying to then trying to arrest I mean to, trying to erase video. Yeah, man, come man. on now, man. Come on now. Yeah. You finna you can get and, and it's always the gardeners. And the, the the you know did you see the two black people get caught up in the Rico Act? Nah, for the for Kanye's this. ex. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, see? yeah. It's always yeah. two dumbass niggas. Always, yeah, man. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, it's always Old like a girl Herman Cain don't up. believe COVID is real. Like, oh, it, <laughs> this white dude is telling the truth. Yeah, man, she got caught up. And the thing about black people, they don't know how to. T- they don't. They don't know enough information to tell up. If you get caught, you got to have somebody to tell up on. Right. 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 They right. were just running mm. campaigns in Georgia. You, you can't even tell on nobody except the dude next to you. <laughs> yeah. Damn. Snitches yeah. don't get stitches. They get yeah, immunity you, from prosecution. You got, yeah, because you got to pull somebody down. Yeah. No, who you going to pull down? You don't know nobody. <laughs> yeah. They know how to keep you out. Damn. They, yeah. You just know the dude. You don't even know all the words to the Negro National Anthem. You doing the head. <laughs> even when they, because in the headline was like Kanye's former yep. manager. Even Kanye was like, damn. Yep. <laughs> like, yep. Yeah. But they don't know. They, they're they always, every, they use they use us for like f- fluff. Right. But they don't know. You got to be a Mark Meadows or the lawyer or because you got to be in the room with him. Them the dudes weren't in the room with him. Right. They was just gap, happy to get a phone call. Trump said go down and go to this lady house and threaten her. Yeah. Well, how are they gonna tell? Yeah, man, and on video. Yeah. <laughs> you going to jail. And I'm and you talking about man, tell them. anything from like 2015, you should have been aware yep. of walking into a room yep. with video. Yep. You know, yep. things have been been videotaped for years, man. bro. Like everything is recorded now. It's two things you can be sure of video and some white dude saw it. Yeah. Always the white, they always somewhere. You, remember that dude? Scott Peterson that threw his wife the pregnant wife in the middle of the ocean. Uh-huh. It was a white dude fishing going. I saw right. they always somewhere. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. They <laughs> remember, all, remember Rodney they, King? It's always a witness. Dude, deal. Rodney King beating. Holiday always. was like <laughs> oh, well, well. one in the morning with well, an old man, ass, like a big ass now. channel seven camera. Come on now. Yeah, man. Just, always. Just happen to have it. You best believe it's gonna be video and a white dude who just happened <laughs> to see it. And he'll he'll be looking back at the video. There's the crime right there. <laughs> <laughs> they, they, wow. they, okay. they, they were shooting that kid's birthday party oh, and right man. behind it. <laughs> I saw him dump a body in the ocean. Oh, my God, man. It's always. Yeah. They will always see it. Hey, man, do you think that Trump can can run? Because let me tell you, like a supporter, I can see them saying, yeah, it is a witch hunt. Yeah. Look how they're trying to do him. Look how, you know. No, no. The, two things can be true. Yes, it is politically motivated, but right. you did it. Right. Okay. Yeah. That's it is. True. No. Two things. Can it's be not true. like they can come snatch me. Up. Now, I've known. I've known dudes that the police were after, mm-hmm. and they were after them, but they did it. Right. Yeah. Yeah. You made the video. The the thing. The the only reason we're having this argument is because Trump thought he could run and not be prosecuted. And not they they stopped the investigation. They didn't stop. Mm-hmm. He did everything that they said he did. Right. Everything. Damn. You heard the phone call. That's yeah, illegal. Yeah, man. My man. You heard him tell people I just, I just to come. Need That's to one. You know what I'm saying? But the Constitution, the, 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 the Constitution, the Fourteenth Amendment, he's not. He 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 committed treason. Basically, treason. He tried to overthrow the government. Right. Now, how you you couldn't get a if you got ninety one felonies and a rape charge, you couldn't get a job at White Castle. Damn the White House. Yeah, that's real talk. The, the, nobody could do anything he did. You could nobody that works in here right now could have oh, a tenth man. of that and keep Not, a job. I was about to say you couldn't have a fraction, bro. No. You couldn't have a fraction. So I'm just you know, I it, to to me like it's it's just silly. now all the stuff they doing like 
Alabama, Arkansas want, want, is banning black history, right? Mm-hmm. But Arkansas is also making it child labor laws younger. So now, so now you a, a twelve, a fourteen year old can work where they what were supposed to. Arkansas is doing exactly what slavery was all about. Slavery was about removing history means that it never happened and we get a chance to repeat it. Mm-hmm. Who do you think is going to work if it's 14 year olds? Right. Gonna it's going to be black and brown people. Yeah, and they're going to be the reason that, that those laws existed because people went, it ain't right to have these kids in these harsh conditions. And the only reason to have a 14 year old work, it ain't going to be, he going to be working at a kiosk in the mall. Right. He's going to be working in a very dangerous, yeah. either meat plant or, or he's going to be working in a field yeah. somewhere dangerous. Yeah. And he's not going to school no. and having yeah. a job. And so, so this is on purpose. When they're trying to control, like this abortion issue, uh, l- listen. Um, now the Supreme Court has overturned Roe versus Wade, gay marriage, contraception. Uh, they want to go after that. I'm mean, inside of me. Like, what does how I celebrate my anniversary got to do with any of this? I mean, I, I don't know. You, I don't know where you're from, but you can't get pregnant that way. Huh? Right. Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but and then they said. Uh, <laughs> Like, if you live in a red state, you can't even talk dirty to your woman. They'll be like, who's this girl? It's the state legislature yeah. right now. <laughs> hey, man, and you know what's the trip about that deal? It seems like people are fine with it. That's wild. Like, I don't, well, they must not be because look at how many elections they've lost because of it. Yeah, I hear you. So I think that the narrative is no one wants somebody. I, 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 I was born March 6, 1964. Mm-hmm. I, I, when I was born, uh, the, uh, the affirmative action had just... Uh, happened and then early the 70s uh then there was Roe versus Wade right so affirmative action and women had autonomy over their body my granddaughter will be born in a week my second one mm-hmm. she'll have less rights than I was born with wow that so that she'll literally have less rights than her grandfather was born with. and she lives in Georgia oh wow so so you can't tell me that it does when I don't want necessarily like I, th- I'm not for or against abortion. What I'm against is telling people who are grown what to do with their bodies. Mm-hmm. But if you don't, I don't want you to learn your history. It used to be a time when black people couldn't learn, when slaves couldn't learn. Now black people can't learn about slaves. Mm-hmm. That's on purpose. That's not an accident. And so it is because it isn't that you want to. It is that you want to replicate what happened before. If you if you teach it. Now they, what they say that slavery was, had benefits, like slave had. Oh my God! So man. it was like a it was like a four hundred year internship that yeah, was unpaid. Right. Like, man, the, the 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 thought that do you know that woodworking, metalworking, there are three hundred thousand year old digs where in Africa where they learn they they dug up rudimentary woodworks, weapons. They they knew how to do that before they got here. Right. They, the white people think they teach you everything, but they knew how to do that before they got there. You didn't have to hit me. You just tell me what you want. Right, yeah. I, I would <laughs> and bring it. my son back. Yeah, That's man. All. Real talk. <laughs> That's all. But yeah. it's it's it. But it's a the the best time for comedy right now. Really, and and, and why so? Because I think the stakes are so high, yeah. and I think I just have always loved these kind of vantage points. It's always like when everybody was talking about the 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 the, the, the like black people ain't gonna pay. Two hundred fifty thousand dollars to go twelve thousand feet under the ocean oh to look God. for that Titanic. Yeah, man. If we want to, if we want to adventure, we just try to get an appropriate home appraisal. Yeah, man. Hey, dude, that was they paid for death. Listen, you. It's easier to find five billionaires in the middle of the Pacific than two black families got approved by Bank of America for home loan. I bet you that. Wow. <laughs> I bet you that. <laughs> I bet you that. Yeah. That you, is not happening. Yeah, uh, we got one. <laughs> <laughs> we still got one? Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. been 12 days. Yeah. Uh, oh, it's man. It's hilarious to me. So yeah. I, but I think this, this state, when the stakes are high, it's just the funniest. Hey, man, have you? do you feel you with your money, have you done anything crazy that you wouldn't have done mm-hmm. when you were broke? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, a lot, a lot. But but you definitely not paying no two hundred fifty thousand. Like, like pay for my like pay for my daughter's grad school. I wouldn't have done that. No, no. I, I pretty much nah. I, I I did everything I want. I mean, I I was older when I started getting money. Really? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I ain't yeah. like one of these young dudes. Right. Like I was married, had kids. I got married at twenty one. So oh wow. So I I've been you know it, it took a while to get like this. Really? My though. wife used to shop at Target till about twenty years ago. I heard. So that. it wasn't no, it wasn't no. Man, I just got a nice car, like a really like. Well, I went, damn, that's a nice car. Right. Just now. 
Damn, so, I heard that. You know. Hey man, so what do you think we're going into with this uh with this year of we're about to see politics change. Yeah. We're about to see another running for the White Here's House. Here's the thing that's funny to me. So Who's in a, place? You did all this, and then you tell me that Biden got a crackhead son. I got a crackhead cousin. I mean, right. I understand crackheads. Yeah, same. I do. I understand crackheads. What I don't understand, is, and you, I've known people who came from good families, went to church all the time, and somebody turned out to be a crackhead. Right. They did horrible things that brought shame to that family. Right. What I had never have is understood, and they're acting like it's an equivalent, like that all the stuff he did is as bad as Biden's son being a crackhead. Mm. Joe, there's no doubt that Hunter Biden is a crackhead. Right. Mm-hmm. But when is the last time you've seen a white boy named Hunter in jail? Right. Gotcha. They don't go to jail, so stop it. He's getting the same privilege that any white dude of means would get. And that none of them go to jail. Right. No hunters, no biffs. Ain't no biffs. <laughs> yeah. Ain't no skips. Yeah, no skips. It's Chads. a dude. Remember the kid killed all those five people in, in Texas, and they said he was suffering from affluence. Yeah, man. They Affluency, don't go to bro. Yes. So, like, man, he's too rich. So to stop understand. pretending like. Yes. You, so stop pretending. He ain't going to jail because they don't go to jail when they do that. They don't go Damn. to jail when they're on drugs. They don't go. It was a kid that raped somebody at Stanford, oh right? And he didn't go to jail. Yeah, mm-hmm. man. Yeah. If you, yeah. you 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 show me a hunter in jail, and it better be a bounty hunter. Right, in front right. Of you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> mm-hmm. Or Grape Street. It ain't no. It ain't no. <laughs> hey, man. Who's coming? Who's coming in now, though? Democratic side, I, Republican side. Listen, like it ain't hard for me. Mm-hmm. It's not hard. But I, I, you know, to me, it's just there. There are people. The only rights that some people want you to have, the only unassailable right, is guns. They don't mm-hmm. want women to be able to decide what they want to do with their body. They don't want people to decide what kind of history they can have. They don't want people okay, to be able to marry. dress and marry and love who they want to. The only freedom you can actually have that they will fight you to the death for is a gun. That's all. Wow. And it's easier to buy guns in America than Sudafed. Right. You right. buy two packs of Sudafed, and you ain't, ain't nobody got no that many codes. <laughs> yeah. and, and then good luck on some of the stores because they got it locked off. They, yeah. mm-hmm. Try to buy two packs of Sudafed anywhere Go. in this state, wow. and they will have a record of you trying to do it somewhere else. Really, though? Damn. So so to me, it's not even hard. I, I, I don't have to agree with people. It's just an expansive view. I believe that people should be able to love who they love, dig who they want to dig, have as many babies or not as they want to. Mm-hmm. I don't that's that's not my thing. But I think when you live in a society, don't tell me we're a free society when a white guy in Florida and a white woman in Arkansas can tell me exactly what history I can learn. Mm. And she had this woman, uh, uh, Sarah Huckabee, got people going to pick books up from school districts that said they would teach black history anyway. Look it up. I'm not even lying to you. Going to pick them up. That's the so those schools oh are now the God. Underground Railroad. What is so important about our history? That is worth you that that you've made a law, and have empowered people with arrest powers to 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 seize books. What is about our history? If you're worried about a black history, if you're scared of black history, it's because you're worried about a white future. Mm. Mm. That's why you're not worried about books, and you're not running though, huh? No. Okay. I'm putting a law. You saw what happened. Cornell West said he was running. They oh. pulled up that nigga child support. <laughs> <laughs> Back taxes. He was like, wait, hold on, man. He was picking his hair out like, look at what? I'll pay your student loan. You didn't pay your child support. Right. All right, there's the end of your campaign. Right. <laughs> oh my God, yeah, man, yeah. I, I, I can definitely point from the from a distance, right? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you know, it's crazy, man. Is we're starting to see politics now, DL, that we would have never gotten away with. When, when even when Trump did grab it by the the P, I was like, oh, that's it. This is over. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, like and Barack Obama had to be so. What did so... he do that was so. Did, what he, all he did was allow them the freedom to be exactly who they, who are. they are. Yeah, man. That's all he did. The economy wasn't better. The world didn't run better. They just want to be free to do, like, to do exactly what they want to do. He's a dummy. Mm-hmm. He's a dummy. 84 people are testifying against him. Not one is somebody he didn't hire. Yeah. Not one. Not one. It ain't a Democrat. It ain't no conspiracy. Everybody that's testifying against him, either he hired or somebody he hired hired, everybody who's testifying against him voted for him and wanted him to win. Everybody. Mm-hmm. Everybody. 
So stop telling me about conspiracy. They want to shape the world. They want to shape the way they want to shape it. And the only thing standing in the way is people that have dissenting opinion. That's all. Damn. That's all. We can we can argue about my ideology and your ideology, but the truth of the matter is, how does taking my history make your life better? How does making a woman dress like a, a woman dressed like a man make your life better? How does uh, uh, women not being able to have uh, autonomy of their body make your life better? And we ain't talking about jobs or the environment. We're talking about you want to control things. One of the things that they, they're talking about in these debates: what made it better for the average person? What makes it better? Mm-hmm. How does me not learn about Harriet Tubman do anything for gas prices right. or home prices right, or banks or schools? Right. It is to control things. Name me one thing they're talking about doing that is even up for debate in terms of making society better for everybody. How does taking my history away from me, telling me what I can learn, how, how, how telling this woman— how many babies she can have or the way that she, that she has to have. How does telling America they can't have migrant workers, how does that make America better? It makes it whiter. It doesn't make it better. Mm. And that's the goal. Literally. I'm not even trying to be funny. Right. You Name me one thing they're running on that you go, well, I can get behind that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, well, I don't want my children learning about drag queens. But you don't mind your children getting shot in school. Mm-hmm. Yeah. RuPaul ain't got a damn thing on a Ruger. Yeah. <laughs> It ain't. That's real. You would rather so so so. Mm. Name me one thing that they're saying that you can agree with as a society that makes your life better in a, in an un just just an innocuous way. What 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 do they say that if if it's about all of this about sixty sixty I guess they're doing a thing and seventy seven percent of people voting in the Republican primary want to stop woke. Yeah, man. How how does that make your life better? Hey man, do you remember when woke meant something yeah. to us? Yes. Man, woke would like it's crazy what woke mean now. It's like everything. They take everything and and like uh I'm not worried about AI. Artificial intelligence is not as bad as natural stupidity. <laughs> what's what's are you scared of a dumb dude uh, of a dumb dude who write laws or a brilliant man who write apps? Mm. I'll tell you it's a jump ball. Right. Natural stupidity is way worse. You got to be brilliant to write out. You can be dumb and write a law. Dumb people want to ban books. <laughs> <laughs> dumb people want to ban artificial intelligence in, at all. <laughs> yeah. 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 All, all, all artificial intelligence is is somebody has an idea that that uh, uh, thing can uh, that entity can replicate it over and over again. So it doesn't need you anymore. That's mm-hmm. white people. <laughs> right. yeah. Hey, man, are you concerned with artificial intelligence? No. You're not AI no. at all? I think it can't be anywhere. It's garbage in, garbage out. It can only be garbage what in, people put out. in. Right. It's not an entity. Now, if the if the system is flawed from the beginning, it'll be flawed from the beginning. Mm-hmm. But it can't. It doesn't function on its own. It is. An, it is. Whatever is put in is what it'll put out. It'll, you know, it'll. If if there's a flaw in the mechanism, then it'll be a flaw later on. But the only way forward is is us having a part in how this these things are developed. Right, right. Because it could be a. I always say, man, it could be a gift and a curse. I'm, I'm like, it's here. Everything is. Yeah, and it's here, and it's not going anywhere. It ain't. Right. And, it ain't. And sometimes we do pay. We pay dearly for the convenience too. Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah. Everything. Everything is. There's almost nothing that used to happen to you. Look, remember Sky Pager? Yeah. How long that last? Oh, yeah. Remember Nextel? Oh, you, yeah. Oh, man. Yeah, remember that chirping? Last? Yeah. <laughs> I'm hey, talking chirping. about cutting edge technology, right? Yeah. Remember VCRs? Yeah, man. Couldn't how long did it. that last? Right. And it's gone. Pagers? How you long could, did you, that you last? Couldn't live with, you thought you couldn't live without it. Exactly. And, and it was and so it, convenient for you. Pagers, it used to be dudes with pager shops all over the country. Yeah, man. Can you imagine if you built your foundation, your family on your page and track? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, man, I done got me a, home, a right. video depot and a blockbuster. <laughs> and you had to go down there and pay it. Remember that? <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah. Oh, they cut your page off. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> How long did it last? <laughs> yeah. But it was a whole industry built on it. Right. So that's technology. Mm. So, so, and it always, it's always a gift. To, it was a gift to you. But remember when you couldn't even make phone calls 
past a certain time of night because it would cost too much. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. When you had, remember, oh, so yeah. that, that used to happen. How long ago was that? Remember they had rollover minutes. That wasn't that long ago. Right. So technology's always doing it. ADL, do you remember even being a traveling comedian? Do you remember checking out of a hotel and having to pay your phone bill? Exactly. Yeah. You have to put down for incidental. <laughs> yeah, man. Remember having a phone at your house? Oh, yeah. Very much so. Don't nobody got a phone. Yeah. This uh, is how old school. I still got AOL. Right. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, as soon as somebody be like, yeah, get at me at uh, DHAOL, I'm like, right. whoa. Because <laughs> I even uh, look yeah. sideways at Yahoo. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. Right. Oh. Hotmail. Yeah, yeah Hotmail. <laughs> man, hit me on my on, Hotmail. It moves on so fast, man. And it, 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 that's, that's technology. Yeah. And society's like that. Look at. A year ago, Lizzo was the thing, and now the, the very as as high as they took her is as low as, and it's all based on someone saying she did something. Mm-hmm. Ain't nobody proved nothing. Right? Somebody's the now, court of public you got opinion. Proof though. that Tory shot Megan, but that ain't good enough. You got you know that happened. Right. Right. You got proof. You got bloody that. footprints and everything. But but, but but no, but not Lizzo. We that we'll just believe that. We got proof Trump did this, but we won't believe that. Right. We we do what we want to do. So to me, it's it's I'm I'm not worried about anything with intelligence in it at all. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you're good, because yeah, dumb people done ran the country for so long. I've, I've had enough. Hey man, do do you feel like even with your privacy now, everything is being videoed? You know, your, it's times cloud, man yeah. when they want to shut your your car down. I I still don't know when they say, "Oh, your pictures are in the cloud." I don't know what that is. I just got back from Cabo yesterday, uh-huh. right? So I have that, what is that, global entry. Yeah. You walk up, you you it, it makes you stand right there. It flashes a green light. You walk past the edge and go, hey, DL. Damn. So they know already. Yeah, man. It's going to be retinal scans. It, even, even my clear, they be like, all right, yep. look here. And I'm yep. like, you know, and you think convenience. That's another thing you think convenience. Look, look at, you. when's the last time you walked around with a bunch of money? I don't. When's the last time you walk on credit cards? It's all on your phone. Right, right. When did that happen? Right. So that's technology. And your life is Im- infinitely better. So if something happens that is not as good as that, I have to take that. But in terms of stupid-ass people, stupid-ass people has too much power. Even the Electoral College. How does how Damn. does Nebraska or, or South Dakota or North Dakota have as much senatorial power as California? Right. Or Texas? Yeah. Even in a, in a real numbers game, mm-hmm. bro. Right. Come on. It's more people. One out of every nine, one of every nine Americans lives in in Southern California, but we get has we don't have the senatorial representation of South Dakota. Yeah, man. It's not even as big as Oxnard. Mm. <laughs> so I'm tired of dumb people having a say. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So where do we go? <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm tired. Of, like I'm tired. Of, like artificial intelligence can't be as bad. As Mitch McConnell being, being right. in charge, oh, oh, man. or Marjorie Taylor Greene being on the intelligence committee, I'm so tired of stupid ass people cut, uh, cutting checks and d- uh, uh, d- making laws. George Bush was a dummy. Right. Look at all the st- damage dumb people have done. The only time a, a really intelligent guy messed up the world was Professor X, and he ain't real. Right, where are you talking from? <laughs> <laughs> man, do you, do you think there should be billionaires in this world? Like the Elon Musk who can I buy think, Twitter and kind of manipulate it to do I whatever I think the hell that he almost wants. every time there's a billionaire, that whole thing about passing the camel, uh, passing a rich man passing through the camel, I have a needle in the seat. I think there's so many things that people will do to be obscenely wealthy that you can't be, a, I don't think, a decent human being and just be like, if, if you sold records or something, like, okay, I get it. Mm-hmm. But if that, all you did was sell this product and you keep getting infinitely. Wealthier and wealthier and wealthier, and then um, lobbying people so you can be wealthier. Mm-hmm. At a certain point, I don't, I don't think you'd be a decent human. How do you feel about Amazon? Well, I, I should ask because they parked in front of my house right now. So. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> yeah. But even that. Even hey, man, that, do you remember waiting six to eight weeks for a delivery? Man. <laughs> yeah, what did it take so now, now you see two days, you're like, oh, man, two days. <laughs> do you remember how long it took to buy a car? Now you could go to a vending machine and get a car. Mm-hmm. Yeah, man. But all of these things, there are, are, are there are losses to these things. But what what people would have you do is some parts of America, like America is like either the Flintstones or the Jetsons. Mm, wow. I was in 
San Francisco, those Waymo cars or those cars, yeah, man. they drive around by themselves. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Self-driving. Yeah, man. So imagine a country that still has has cars that drive by themselves, that don't have a driver, and then places in the country where they want to go back to manufacturing and coal mining. Mm. But the places where they want to go back to manufacturing and coal mining got just as many votes as the places. Which wow. Were. That's America. It's gotcha. the Flintstones and the Jetsons, and the Flintstones are winning. Gotcha. Gotcha. It's, it's, it, all the progression, everything that that, that you uh, need is happening or growing in a, in, a, in places where people live. The people who, d- have, who live in places where they don't live are mad. So all they want to do is destroy stuff. That's all they want to do is hmm. want people to pay for what it is they're not getting. They they think that you can drag America back to being what they want it to be. Right. If you If you see... A poor, the worst you should do if you're a white guy is be a, a manager at a retail store. That's the worst you should do. When I see a homeless white guy, I'm like, you wasted whiteness. What right. did you do? Yeah. How do you? Nobody told you. You should put it on eBay. Gently right. use whiteness. You can get rid of that. Yeah. <laughs> Someone buy it. What you said? Gently use This whiteness, whiteness haven't even been used. Yeah, man. <laughs> almost wow. new. Yeah. It's almost new. Yeah, man. <laughs> best I want, offer. I want Hunter oh. Biden's whiteness. Yeah. That's, yeah. And that's that B.O. That's that when you see that best offer. Oh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Man, goodness gracious. I'm putting that in the basket now. <laughs> yeah. I don't want that West Virginia <laughs> yeah. white. That's yeah. come with opiates. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Dio, you got a lot on your mind, bro. Yeah, I man. do, man. I yeah. can't wait to do it, man. Yeah, man. So so what is the comedy looking like for you right now? I, I, I You know, I'm out every week. Yeah, I know, bro. So... So and I'm 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 I look like I'm doing y'all thing. I, I think uh Oh yeah, in September? No. Oh no, you're no. doing no, you're doing December. December. At Yamava. Yeah, man. I don't know what that means. But. Right, yeah. Yeah, but we'll be there. <laughs> Yahweh. <laughs> I'm at you got a casino, man. Man. casino. <laughs> man, I'm over here in Yama- Yamikas. I'm at the wrong spot, man. I should have known, man. I lo- when I, I saw I- last U.S. exit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. After that, just keep going with the bait. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. I can't wait. I love it. I yeah. Love it. I yeah. love that the stakes are high. I love that people... Hey, D.L., yeah, when, when we were going through the pandemic, man, and comedy, like, stopped. Because you said, you know, they they stopped us from going outside. Right. What was that like for you with someone that's usually, you know, Thursday to Sunday easy? Well, I, I'll gone. tell you how it, how it was. I went during the heat of COVID when it was still going and passed out on stage. Oh, that's yeah. It, that's a, so that's how bad it You're was like, I got to get out the house. I was like, I, <laughs> yeah. I'm going to risk dying and tell these jokes. Did you pass out from COVID? Oh, yeah. What was that well, like? Did you feel that coming on, I deal? Knew, well, I saw the, the footage. Thing. I didn't know that's I had COVID. That's what you COVID. say. Everybody, somebody always would see it. Yeah. yeah. I, I didn't know I had COVID, but I did know when I was going on stage, I did know that I was going to pass out. So oh, I didn't wow. know what it was. I was like, but maybe I'll get up there and I'll, because yeah, the stage had always been my... But ever since then, ever since then, ever since I passed out, I have the worst vertigo once or twice a month. Really? The, the worst. The worst. Like, I got to take these. I don't even, Meclizine. You never had vertigo before? Never had it before. What does it feel never like? Never had it. Huh? What does it feel like? Like the room spinning. spinning. Oh, my yeah. gosh. Like, like, if I move too fast you or dr- am driving and turn, it's a wrap. Oh, damn. And you never had that I before? I never had that before. Man. Never. I think yeah. I have it. But I was <laughs> until you had COVID. Until I, and it's it's after, when people say, Oh, this is a hoax. Well, it's a million people gone, dead, right? Where'd they right, go? Yeah. Right. Look at all the black orphans in the world. Yeah. Look at look how many like it was it's how many people are here that aren't here that were. Yeah, man. Yeah. Like Louis lost his grandmother. Yeah, no matter and, and is, when is that say, a hoax? Right. I know so many people that died, cousin. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So to me, that I I just refuse to believe that we can't see. To, dumb people made that happen. A dumb dude told you there was nothing wrong, or you could take bleach. Mm. You we listen to dummies, but not smart people. Right, right. I, my my brother in law ain't worked in my, you know cousins ain't worked ever, but they know how to fix elderberry. You just get your immune system. Right. Shut up. <laughs> yeah, sea moss. Yeah, yeah man. Sea moss. Uh, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and you watch people die. My, you and you know the things that happened to you because. Like literally, it, but after COVID, it was months where I had it vertigo straight. Like it was never anything. Every day for nine months, I had it all day. Wow. Then I got better. So now it's it's reduced to maybe two, three times a month. Really? For a couple of days. Did you get month. the vaccine? But was it after the vaccine? After I got that you the vaccine, out? it got better. It, it, wow. It, it got better. But now it's. it's Did just, you have a vaccine when you passed out? Because I know people no, are being no, in the comments I, like, I, oh, man, I got the vaccine. 
I got y'all got the punk ass COVID. I got the OG one. I yeah. got the one. Remember, I got the. They didn't have. It didn't have no letter, no B, no D, just COVID. Yeah, yeah. I got coronavirus. Yeah, I got, the, I got the one. Hey man, I, when I got it, it was like you know how Dave Chappelle was like, yeah, I was talking about nothing. Then I got it, and I felt dirty. Yeah, <laughs> like when I got it, I felt like I was like one of the first people that we knew. Yep. that got it, and man, it was it was a whole different world, bro. I didn't get hella sick, but it, man. I felt like I might as well have had leprosy. See, but you got, but imagine that. But imagine everybody. When I got back to the hotel, the Thompson Hotel. Oh yeah, because yours they kicked was... me out the hotel. <gasps> no airlines would fly me. The only reason I got home is because they, uh, from said the entertainer, Chris Spencer, George Lopez, Anthony Anderson, and Don Cheetah, we're on this thing called the Thread, had to threaten a private company to take me home, Damn. and it was Damn. plastic everywhere. It's plastic. When I got when I got off, uh, so they knew DL Hughley passed out. He well, had COVID. It was on the so news. The, yeah, the hotel mm-hmm. was like, "Oh, you got to get they out." They called the room. De- Derek Robles is my Mexican security, the one who let me fall and bump bump that dude. Right. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it, Dave! <laughs> they called the room and said, "You, ha- he, Mr. Hughley, has to go," which is illegal. But I left because everybody saw me walking from the hospital through the thing. I felt like when people were moving out your way, man. You were black with COVID it, too. No, and <laughs> what I did that was stupid. That I'm glad I did, but I, I said, well, I gotta tell people. I don't want. I, I was at this club, and I don't want. I didn't want to. Right. And they were like, tell them when you get home. But I like, nah. I better do it now. So my dumb ass told everybody. Right. Looking out for Made people. an announcement. And everybody. They put me out the room. They wouldn't fly me. I get home, my wife got plastic everywhere, sliding food right. under the door. Remember, I saw you walking with your dog. Remember? And I, I, and I pulled over yeah. like a head. You, you good? <laughs> <laughs> and and it, it, I was a prejudice against my own because I already had it. Like, oh, man, man. And the only person, my wife, and the only person that would bring food, John Sally would come stand at the window and talk to me. And bring day. you vegan food? Yeah, but the other way, what that? Yeah. <laughs> what you but say? he would. Yeah. And say his wife, Lorna. And you said John Sally, former NBA player, vegan, yeah, yeah, good guy. Yeah. And you say he come to the house, talk Every to you through day. the window. Was on the second floor. Tell me, tell, <laughs> just, about, just about looking at a, you through the second floor, like, brother, you good in there? <laughs> talk about a water. You know what? What's the water he was talking about? Everybody's like, but the one who would bring me food said the entertainer's wife, Laura, and his uh, uh, Lorna, and his daughter, and said would bring me food every day. Was it a bad COVID? I didn't feel bad, but I just was dizzy all the time. Damn. So. I just was like, is this ever going to end? Right, yeah. And especially we didn't know what it was, bro, as far as like even with the world shutting down. We didn't know how Mm. long we were going to be shut down. We didn't Mm. know how long we were going to have to wipe groceries. And, yeah, and when you got it early, man, people didn't want to – like I passed – I got out. My trainer – this is how messed up it was. My trainer had showed people my doctor's letter, which he wasn't supposed to do because his his other clients were like, you trained him, so – the Clutchy wow. Club, Calabasas, may, I had to show them a letter, which was illegal for them to do because no members would come in. It was like literally I was a leper. The first person that ever touched me or came into my house after it was over was Sid and his wife. Damn. No one would touch me. And I. it was the most eerie thing because everybody would just freak out and pull away from me. It was like being the first black dude in the neighborhood. Like nobody <laughs> yeah, would touch me. <laughs> Moving nobody, out at 2.30 nobody. in the morning. Nobody would touch me. Nobody would talk. Did to me. Did you nobody. feel a certain way, or are you just yeah. like, man, it's oh wow, that is yeah. eerie, man. No, like nobody would come, pl- like wouldn't play golf with me, wouldn't ride in a car with me, wouldn't would see me and run. It was crazy. Would go. Damn. But I got everybody sick. I got everybody at the job sick. I got everybody at my house sick. So it was. <laughs> oh, I oh, my... oh, you spread it. People man, party. I, I closed comedy for three months. All the clubs closed because of me. Really? Yeah. How so? I passed out in a con- it was in a at a comedy club. at a comedy club. All those, a lot of those people got sick. They shut comedy down. Oh, across in the, the board. Enemy, yeah. Damn. Other so it was you that shut down comedy, and what was the other dude that shut down the NBA when he had, when he did like yeah, this yeah, to the yeah. mic? Oh. <laughs> and Colbert. Then that, yeah, and then he, Colbert. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it's not Colbert. 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 Yeah, he, Colbert. he said Colbert. I'm thinking like the host. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So j- just y'all too. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. I shut it down. Damn. They sure did. They said they closed comedy because nobody could take that. Then when it came back. They would have plexiglass shields. Yeah, man. Everywhere. They only had half the staff. Yeah, man. So you could have a half a room. I would really mm-hmm. stop saying I shut down comedy though. Yeah. 
I yeah, did. you know, well, because I would, I'd definitely be like, yeah, D.L., you fuck my money off. You know yeah, they, a lot of people yeah. like that. Oh, really? But everybody knew if somebody's going to pass out in COVID, it was going to be me. Yeah, really? I'm going to go, go to work. Oh, yeah, hell yeah. I'm going to go yeah. to work. Be like, man, is that your lung hanging yeah. out? Oh, <laughs> button on my jacket. I did the radio show from the hospital. I told you that. Oh, yeah. I was like, hey, can you cut this thing down? I got to do this spot. They're like, oh, if you. <laughs> wow. Yeah. I said, can you, it's me, bitch. She said, it's keeping you breathing. <laughs> right. Uh, uh, well, just shut it off. I got like 30 right, seconds. Right. That's a little loud. <laughs> Let me just read this. Brought to you by Hertz Rental Car. I just got a quick Hertz Rental Car. Then, uh, <laughs> I got to do this 10-second spot. The hey, gonna so get you mad. were hospitalized? I passed out in, in yeah. Nashville. Came home. Oh, wow. I got home Sunday. Monday, I'm I passed out again. I fell. Blood is going down my 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 face. Oh my my son runs in there and he goes, I gotta call the ambulance. I said, You better not call the ambulance. Then I'll never be able to work again. Yeah, man. I said, man, I just I'll be all right. So uh my wife, of course, made him. My blood pressure was ninety six over fifty something. The ambulance said the uh fire department said we gotta we need to take it. I wouldn't go. Then I went to to uh, the next day. Anthony Anderson got me in the UCLA, and they did all kind of tests. And it was just I was so dehydrated from the virus, and it was it was horrible. But I was like, you better not call these people again because I'll never work again. Right. That was how, that's what I was thinking. Right, and especially at that time, man. man. Now in the rearview mirror, we're like, oh, okay, we, you know, you know, we lost a lot. Right. We made it through. Some did, it's, you know, but yeah. But it was but a when kid you that died it, when I was there. From COVID? He was 28. How scary is that? He was, I was, so I'm doing these spots, and this lady is uh, taking a iPad and wiping it off with uh, those wipes. Uh-huh. Everybody had those wipes. Yeah, oh, yeah. If you couldn't find one, my wife had them all. Oh, she yeah. still got it. So do we. <laughs> so I said, oh, they're giving out iPads. <laughs> Laughing, joking. Mm-hmm. And she said, no, this is so this man, this kid could say goodbye to his mother and father. Because nobody could go into the room. Right. Mm-hmm. And this kid was 27, 28. I got there that Monday. Apparently, he coming in that Thursday, and it just took a turn. And he was gone. Damn. Did that scare you? Because Yeah, I was like, even, wait a minute. Yeah, when I had <laughs> COVID the first time, right, and it was like no one really had it, yeah. but I was like, what's coming? Because all you when I had COVID, DL, all you saw was the death ticker tape. You saw bodies in the freezers in yeah, New man. York. Yeah. All that. So to me, I was like, what's coming tomorrow? Yeah. What's happening? What's, yeah. what's going to happen tomorrow? That was, that was my yeah. main thing, yeah. bro. Every time I got up or every time I, <clears throat> am I, because yeah. I heard nothing but the worst. Yeah, yeah man. Yeah. I, I, I wrote a book and I was doing the book tour while I was sick. I mean, once I was doing the interview and passed out in the interview. Shit. I was doing an interview. Cause it, it, I just didn't know. Like it was so bad. So now, you know, you got to stay hydrated. You got to eat small meals. It's, it's crazy. So, so now you got you, you had to learn how to live with that, this. Yeah. yeah. Do you get nervous when you say when you, when you're driving, nah. certain things can happen? No, nah, cause I, I, I know. I was gonna ask you for a ride home today. But I'll show you. I, I, I take these. If, if I'll take this stuff called Meclizine, and it'll work within 20 minutes. But the room will literally start spinning. And never had it before. Never had it before. Damn, man. I know. I remember I was talking to this one nurse, and she was like, yeah, she was like, I have heart problems now. Yep. Damn. I know like, people and, have heart problems. And this problems. isn't vaccine. This is just COVID. Yeah, before. Because yeah. it was way was before the one. vaccine. Say it again. The foggy brain was another one. Oh, yeah. 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 That was like, what is it? But yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah. So it was, I, so I... When you tell me artificial intelligence, I'd rather have them make a mistake. I trust a, a brilliant dude who makes a mistake than a... Than a stupid, ill, ill, ill willed person. I heard that. Y'all stick around, y'all radios, man. We got D.L. Hughley in the neighborhood, Big Boy Big neighborhood. Boy. All righty, D.L. Irvine Improv, man. Yeah, you doing man. what I call the Kunta, the Kunta Kente yeah. run. Your Friday, Saturday, Sunday, two shows on Friday, two shows on Saturday, yeah. get it, bro. And, and one show on yeah. Sunday. And you work every week. Every weekend. I heard every that. Every weekend. What am I, be home? <laughs> <laughs> Man, just book me anywhere. <laughs> I gotta be home. I gotta be. I'm Dad. having another granddaughter, man. So yeah. If you don't work around, man, come on now. Oh yeah. Okay. I about to say if now. you don't work, you don't. They don't eat. But yeah, no, you know, there's too they many. Don't, women. I, they don't eat Gucci. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, man. I don't think. I think they'll eat all right. Yeah. <laughs> so so every weekend you do like you're probably out what Thursdays. Land um, somewhere, do so shows I'm, Friday, Saturday, week, Sunday. I'm, I'm Irvine, then I'm in Raleigh, then I'm in 
Lexington. What does your frequent flyer miles look like? Do you I got, keep your miles? I, should, I got like six million on America. Whoa. Damn. Yeah. What good. do you do with those miles? I don't Nothing, know. Nothing, huh? But they always go, you can upgrade. I'm like, nigga, I'm, I'm flying in with the cabin. Right. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, did you ever see my rider contract? Right, right, right. I was on a plane and they go, well, congratulations. This dude just flew five million miles. Really? And then people were like, oh, that's DOU. No, they, they, like, they didn't care. <laughs> <laughs> are we going to we gonna land safely? Yeah. yeah. Like, yeah, do I celebrate you for flying 500, mm. for flying 5 million miles? <laughs> like, you, know? you know what I hate? Like, I was on a plane one time and they're like, oh, there's a, a kid back in uh, 21C and he has. Uh, food allergy, peanut allergy. So I said, that ain't got nothing to do with us in first class. Y'all better close that curtain. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, man. They give me my damn, my damn heated almonds, my mixed oh, my nuts. Man. i tell you what. I, I make them close that curtain. You know why, Big? I don't like that suffering that go on back there. I like crying. <laughs> Yeah, man. I, I, I use I use the tears from the coast pressers to rim my margarita. It's so wow. <laughs> have you you a piece of have shit? Have you ever had the tears of coast pressers on the margarita? It is delicious. You think tahini is great? Let me tell you, you a cold piece, man. Do, do you fly, Coach? No, no. Would you? Would you, would you he was no. like, oh, big. Oh, Come no, on. No, no, you don't no, fly, so, but you'll fly Southwest, right? Uh, it. I have flown Southwest. Probably three times in fifteen years. Really? And it was cool. Man, Southwest is my area. But I like bro. I like I like to be better than people. You know what right, I mean? Right, right, like, right. Yeah. I yeah. like when people go by me and look with all that hope and I'm like, nah, I can't help you. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> I just... Hear people like, oh, these are nice up here. Yeah, yeah, it I is. Just keep walking. Kid, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know. I snitched on this lady because you know how first class y'all probably don't know, but I'm telling you. <laughs> <laughs> Street I, mean, I mean, but you know, there's there's seats like your space is your space, right? So I got on the plane. It's above your seat. I got on the plane and said, "I'm sorry, Mister. We gotta check your bag because there's no more room in uh, first ca- class." And I said, "Well, that lady right there is in coach." Yeah. And this is old white lady. She had to take her bag and check and, it in and, and check it. She oh, was looking man. at me. I like, hey, Ooh, lady. If Martin Luther King could see that, uh, man. Yeah, man. I made her move that bag. She, I wouldn't even help. One, I was on a plane with Bushwick Bill, right? From the, from the Ghetto Boys. Little guy from the Ghetto Boys. Short person. He, used to, he was talking so bad to this flight attendant, right? So bad to her. But then he had to put his bag in the overhead, oh, and she didn't man. help him. And, and if you don't know Bushwick Bill, Google him. Okay. He's a, he was a little person, rest in peace. And he kept trying to put the bag up there and stand on the seat. He was like, my mind's playing help tricks him. on me. Man, <laughs> I have never laughed so hard in my life. <laughs> From a deuce. Because yeah. I was, that, it was Continental Airlines, and I, he talked bad to her, and then he needed help. With yeah, he, he, instant karma, huh? Mm-hmm. Nope. Instant karma. Sitting like, on a little stand. Like, like, like sir, can you please get off the armrest? <laughs> <laughs> like, please, sir. And he looking at me like, nah, you going like, to go nah, for the whole ride on this one, baby. Are you on your own? You know what I'm saying? Oh, my God. It's you put your mask down. Right. Like, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all like a uh, cranberry yeah, before yeah. we take off? No, please? no, no. A margarita. With yeah. Tears. Be, 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 <laughs> What'd you say with the coach tears? <laughs> oh man, you gotta try it. Oh my it's, god. You can you can hear you can taste sorrow, disappointment. You a piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> You're like big. I work hard, man. I work hard. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, uh, that dude that almost made it. Have you tasted it? Right. <laughs> <laughs> you don't. You don't know what it is. You don't know what it is. And with, and glitter. Hey, a man, of that. All, all this beautiful stuff you've been saying. All these facts. That's gonna be the one thing people are like. Oh. <laughs> I can't believe this. Yeah, you know what? But I'll make them go past that curtain and I'll never hear them. Yeah. Uh, and, I'm and, sorry I didn't hear you over the announcements of refreshments being yeah, served. And, and, and get them. Look at this. Real utensils up here, huh? <laughs> <laughs> like, like, this is ridiculous. DL, definitely want to thank you for yeah. coming into the Always, man. man. Thank you. Pleasure Always. seeing you once Likewise. again, brother. Likewise. Man, thank you, my man. And Always. God willing, we'll see you soon. I'm going to see it to Yahweh. Yamaha. Don't go to the wrong venue. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Don't, <laughs> please don't All go to this instance here. <laughs> <and it's crazy. laughs> yeah, I'm over here at the Yahweh. Like, well, where are you? <laughs> like, yeah, big. Are we at Yard House tonight? <laughs> <laughs> like, no. But DL, thank you for coming into the neighborhood. Always a pleasure, man. Likewise. I'll see you. Uh, I'll see you next month and the month after. I'm gonna start putting you on a four week rotation. Yeah. So, so. Man, DL Hughley in the neighborhood, y'all big boys neighborhood. <laughs>